the dollar index is still confused whether to go up or down we will still make money either way now last week friday we closed the month of april right and on monday is the first of may which happens to be a new month and normally we get to look at price action from the monthly time frame especially at the end of the month towards the beginning of the new month and as we can see we see how we closed uh kind of bearish for dollar but in form of a dodgy candlestick pattern right and if i zoom out properly if you take one glance or one look at this chart right now this is a bullish trend right however we made money around this bearish pullback and now we last month we closed bearish and the month of april also we closed bearish as you can see the color of the candlestick however there was no much price action either bullish or bearish because we actually um consolidated if we go to the lower time frames you are going to see that now if we go to the weekly time frame on the weekly time frame you can also see that for the past four weeks or so we actually did move sideways no significant move up or down nothing makes sense on this weekly time frame just by looking at this so let's go to the daily time frame and then we'll go down to the four hour time frame but on the daily time frame you can also see last week i actually um called your attention to the fact that price moved sideways here one two three four five right then for last week we also moved sideways if you can see one two three four five again so when all of this happens of course we all know that it's difficult to make money in the market because on the dollar pairs by by dollar pairs i mean euro usd gbp usd and the other dollar pairs right we tend to see sideways movements which makes it difficult to trade you see lots of confusion in the market and inexperienced traders tend to lose money during this period because they are confused to either buy or sell right now if we move down to the four hour time frame you can see how we have consolidated if i pull my mouse here and you look down you see from friday the 14th of april 2023 the 14th the 14th of april you see price moved sideways obviously as you can see price just moved sideways no significant move up or down right let me go back to the daily time frame and show you something interesting like i've been saying for the past couple of weeks I am still bearish as it stands right now so if i am bearish on the dollar index that simply means i'm bullish on pairs like euro usd gbp usd and other um dollar pairs right now men looking at this chart like this you can see the price has failed to break above this resistance level is a resistance because we are trading below it right now when we're trading above it it was a support but now that we are trading below it we this it's a resistance right as we all know so i am only interested to start trading in the favor of the us dollar when we break above this trend line yes there are some pairs like nzd usd aud usd that actually went downward but i was not looking at those pairs i was focused on the pairs that were trading against the us dollar like gbp usd and euro usd and i made lots of money trading euro usd as you all know now i'll only trade in favor of the us dollar like i've been saying all for the past two weeks i'll be trading in favor of the us dollar when we take out this trend line all right when we take out this trend line i will start trading in favor of the us dollar but for as long as we sustain below this trend line i am trading against the us dollar right so now that we've seen what is happening on the dollar index let's quickly look at some usd pairs and after that we'll look at some jpy pairs also but before we continue you know what time it is if you want to double your account next week subscribe to this channel and like this video right now gbp usd is still trending upward between this zone and this zone is clear we are moving upward i mean we've seen a couple of monthly candlestick close bullish right between this zone and this zone we only had one month of um, bearish price action so what should we be looking for we should keep looking for bullish opportunity until the trend changes right now if we go to the weekly time frame if you've been following my videos you will know that for the past three to four weeks i've been talking about this trend line that i'm expecting price to come into this trend line for as long as we sustain above this weekly resistance that i put here i'm expecting price to come into this trend line and when we get to the trend line two things may happen we may start seeing bearish price action 
right? Or we may break above and keep trading upward. But we just have to wait till we get there to see what happens next. All right. So, but for now, I'm expecting price to keep pushing higher until we come into this trend line. If we go to the daily time frame, on the daily time frame, you can see we still have about 127 pip move to that trend line. This is that trend line from the weekly time frame. And this is how I calculated. In fact, if I, okay, yeah, this is where price is right now at the moment. So if you calculate between this area to this trend line, that is about 127 to 130 pip move to the upside. So it's still a decent move to the upside and we can make money from that move, right? Now, if we go down to the four hour time frame, on the four hour time frame, I remember um, some traders were spotting this as a head and shoulder pattern formation forming. And um, I was like, I told some of them, I was like, until we break below the neckline, which will be here. Let me map it out so that you can see which will be here. So until we break below this neckline, it is not yet a head and shoulders pattern. All right. Always be patient until we break the neckline before you can say for a fact that this is a head and shoulders pattern pattern all right if you want to take advantage maybe probably because you anticipate the head and shoulders pattern yeah you can do that but don't just hold with the belief that price is just going to keep collapsing and break the neckline all right no so as you can see this break above this zone invalidates that possibility of this being a head and shoulders pattern right and now we are trading above this so so with no doubt in my heart i'm expecting price to keep pushing higher at least into this trend line like i've been saying from the weekly time frame perspective right so now we cannot just keep pushing all the way to the upside we are going to have to do what um pull back into this zone or this zone let me put it here in case of manipulation or this zone here let me put this here so price will either do th two things uh on monday i would like to see price still push up a bit maybe to this zone here so if we can push up a bit to this zone then i will be looking at this zone as our potential pullback i'll expect price to pull back into this zone before we now continue our bullish momentum to the upside but if that doesn't happen, if we just keep pushing downward from this zone, then I'll also be looking at the possibility of price coming into this zone before going bullish or coming down into the zone to manipulate traders out of the trade, making them think that, okay, price is going to keep pushing lower. This market with experience, you tend to understand how this market behaves, all right? You tend to understand how this market behaves. So if we push higher a bit before the pullback, then I'll be expecting this zone for bullish continuation but if we keep pushing down because we've started seeing red candles right if we push down if we keep pushing down then i'll be expecting price to come into this zone before we continue bullish or manipulate it manipulate its way back into this um structure here before we see bullish continuation into that trend line but whatever happens i expect bullish continuation on gbp usd next week for those that may want to catch this earlier you can go to the one hour time frame and also wait for that pullback into this zone but i would most likely expect price to come into this zone because this market can be very very crazy sometimes i know these guys i know these guys they know we are looking for fast way to join the trend because they know many traders will not be in this bullish push to the upside here because everything was looking like price is going to drop so i know how this market behaves it can be very very crazy sometimes all right it can be very very crazy so instead of it to come here and give us that bullish continuation it may manipulate its way down to this zone here so don't forget that possibility all right that is why i'm here to show you how this market behaves sometimes right so map out this zone also on your chart and look at that possibility of price dropping down into this zone all right so let's go to euro usd on euro usd euro usd also closed the month bullish last two months was bullish this last month april also ended bullish all right so i expect price to keep pushing higher on this Hey, I'll expect price to keep pushing higher. So maybe this zone here, let me put this, let me map out this zone here. So till we get to maybe 1.13397. Now on the lower time frame, which is the weekly time frame here, um, you can see price blasted up, broke above this trend line 
and now we pulled back i was actually expecting price to keep falling to the downside when price was here but when price was around here but however we kept pushing higher and um now it looks like we've created a new higher high on the weekly time frame all right however if we go to the daily time frame you would discover that price is finding it hard breaking above the zone so now this is what i'll be expecting if price takes out this zone here which is a uh, uh, sorry if price takes out this resistance let me even write it out let me put resistance here all right if price takes out this resistance then guys no doubt we are blasting all the way to the upside right but we still have this zone to contend with however if we keep dropping um if price keeps dropping down then i expect price to come into this zone taking out this previous low here right creating a new lower low then get a pullback before we keep trading all the way to the downside now let me put this here too so that you can see the low i'm talking about so this is the zone i'm talking about then i'll be expecting price to come break below that zone on the daily time frame creating a new lower low then i'll be expecting price to go back to retest that zone then give me bearish pressure so that i can jump on the trade and now start selling the euro usd but for now i am bullish for now i am bullish so i would like to see price take out this resistance giving us a new higher high so that we keep blasting all the way to the upside now let's go to the um four hour time frame on the four hour time frame you can see price is still respecting this trend line we've bounced off this trend line twice before and now we came back on friday and we blasted all the way to the upside right so if you are not already on this trade how do you join this trade now i'll be expecting two things if price let me go back to the four hour time frame so back on the four hour time frame if price takes out this trend line let's say we see price take out this trend line right then what we'll do is we'll wait for it to take out the trend line then we'll wait for a pullback to trade all the way to the downside but when that happens we need to see a new lower low created around here we need to see a new lower low created around here once we break below this trend line create a new lower low below this um price areas here i will expect price to pull back into this area then look for bearish pressure to sell all the way to the downside all right well let's go to the one hour because for now i am still bullish all right for now i am still bullish so if we go to the one hour and you are not already on this trade wait for price to take out this trend line all right wait for price to take out this trend line then give us some kind of pullback any type of pullback then we'll buy all the way to that resistance level all right so this is how i am looking at euro usd at the moment all right let's quickly look at gold there are no good trading opportunities on gold but first of all let's look at the monthly time frame since this is the beginning of a new month we closed bullish for last month however towards the end of last month we went into a serious um range let's go to the weekly time frame if you see on the weekly time frame we traded into two thousand dollar area and since there will be struggling to break above or trend below all right now let's go to the daily time frame on the daily time frame you can see price moved sideways for the past 10 days if you count if you count between this zone this um candlestick to this candlestick you can see one two three four five six seven eight nine sorry one two three four five six seven eight nine ten for the past 10 days we've been moving sideways and that's crazy right and that is why you've been seeing all those confusions on the lower time frames that is why you've not been able to make money trading gold all right so now you can see gold is trapped in the range yes we did take out this trend line so price was i was expecting price to keep pushing lower for a bit before we continue the bullish momentum remember if we go back to the weekly time frame we are still in a bullish trend right creating higher highs and higher lows see high taking out this high we came back we tested that zone then went back to create a new higher high taking out this high so technically we are still in a valid and healthy uptrend all right so if you're even looking for shots right now you should just be temporal don't think um the trend has 
changed all right so we are still trapped in this range so there's nothing serious i don't even know what to say on gold at the moment so i'm just going to let it be for now if anything changes within the week of course you know the drill i'll send it out on the telegram channel so if you are not already on our telegram channel you should do yourself a favor and join the telegram channel now so that takes us to jpy has starting with jpy index the jpy index measures the strength or weakness of the japanese yen all right so if the japanese yen is bearish that signifies a weak jpy and if it is bullish then that signifies a strong jpy now i'm looking at this candlestick because this is the monthly time frame you can see that we close super bearish for last month all right so what should we be looking for going into this new month bearish trading opportunities right now if we go to weekly time frame on the weekly time frame we now have a valid double top on the weekly time frame remember chart patterns on the higher time frame like the monthly the weekly the daily time frames they are very very significant you don't want to overlook them you don't want to underestimate them all right so now we've broken below the neckline we broke and closed below the neckline all right so we now have a valid double top so does it mean we may not pull back above the neckline anymore of course that is possible but all i'm saying is just look for only bearish trading opportunity that takes us to the daily time frame on the daily time frame if you watch last two weeks video you remember that i i, I said i was expecting price to break below go back for a pullback and then blast all the way to the downside did that happen as you can see yes and if you think i'm lying go back to last two weeks video precisely you will see what i'm talking about there so you can see price broke out pull back and blasted down below right so if you follow my analysis and my analysis alone you must be a very rich trader by now all right well let's quit the joke and go to the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame you can see how price went back retested the trend line before blasting all the way below but i'm forgetting something what is it back to the daily time frame i'm forgetting something all right yes i remember now on the daily time frame i'll be expecting some pullback because after a significant move of course we should expect a retracement a pullback right so i'll be expecting price to still keep falling all the way to the downside to this zone before we start seeing pullbacks all right so if you are not ready in this trade and you don't have a safe place to put your stop loss remember i don't trade the jpy index i'm just saying this because when we start having the pullback on the jpy index it's going to reflect on the jpy pairs all right so when jpy index falls into this zone i'll be expecting a pullback which will provide us the opportunity to catch this trade on the jpy pairs because we are definitely going to see that the reflection of those pullback of this pullback on the jpy pairs right so uh let's even go to the some jpy pairs let's look at jpy um sorry gbp jpy if you remember i called this trade from this zone here all right i call this trade from this zone here in fact i call this trade at the break out of this trend line so as you can see the screenshot i call this on the telegram uh, channel and as you can see price kept blasting my initial target was 170 why because it was a round number all right however we've broken above 170 and we are still pushing higher right so i'm expecting price to come into this zone before giving us that pullback to jump on the trade if you are not already in this trade all right so in last week's video too which happens to be the last video i dropped before the end of last month um i called this trade long from around this zone here right i think yeah around this zone and as you can see we clue the price actually blasted significantly all the way to the upside however just like the jpy index if you are not ready on this trade wait for price to come into 172.048 all right wait for price to come into that area then we'll now get our pullback so now what we'll jump into the trade i'll be posting the updates because there's no entry opportunity that i can spot right now until we get that pullback so i'll be dropping the updates on the telegram channel all right so let's go to usd jpy usd jpy also pretty much like um gbp jpy if we go to the monthly time frame i expect gbp jpy to keep blasting all the way up to um let me even put this here i expect gbp usd jpy to keep blasting all the way to 148 
617. That's crazy, right? But mark my word, this is the monthly time frame. Price is coming into 148.617. Save this on your calendar and come back to this chart maybe after the next four or five months, all right, to, to see if I was correct or I was actually bullshitting. <laughs> So let's go to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, you can see we now have a higher low. So I expect price to give us a new higher high before we get a pullback to keep pushing all the way to the upside. Now let's go to the daily time frame. The daily time frame, uh, we expect price to come into this area, this area or this area. So I'll be expecting price to come into 137.269 or 137.872 before we get our pullback to so now jump on the trade and keep pushing upward so where will that pullback come into well i can't say i can't tell you that now for sure until i see the pullback starts happening all right so i'm definitely going to be dropping the update also on the telegram channel or on any of our live youtube videos because like i promised we are going to start um, shooting live YouTube videos within this week. All right. So watch out for our announcement on that one. So I will be sending more chats on the Telegram channel. Also become a smart and profitable trader by enrolling in any of our programs. Link is also in the description of this video down below. Don't dull. Don't sleep on it, guys. Thanks for staying to the end of this video and if you've not subscribed, please do so now. Also, give this video a thumbs up as it helps this video go viral. Wishing us all a profitable week ahead. Bye guys.